Hey everybody, Mr. Serene here, and today we're going to be looking at how to play digital che checkers here uh, using our slideshow, uh, along with how we're going to be organizing ourselves on Zoom. So let's take a look. Um, for this activity, uh, you're going to be assigned an opponent from class and given a specific slide that you are going to be playing on. So for example, you might be thrown in a breakout room with your buddy, and then you might have to go to slide number seven, and that's going to be whatever board, and that's going to be the board you play on. Uh, from here, you and your partner will go to that slide, and in that breakout room, you're going to obviously decide who's going to go first and who's going to go second, who's going to pick what color, that sort of thing. The older player gets to pick what color they want, and the younger player gets to decide if they want to go first or second. So that's how we're going to decide that. Once we're in, both players will play until one player removes all the other person's pieces, and then when a winner uh, emerges, you'll come back to the main lobby and we'll pick maybe new partners or whatever it may be. If you're somebody who's never played checkers before, uh, it's a pretty simple game. The board is set up like this, and you're only allowed to move your pieces uh, to the dark gray spots. During your turn, you're only allowed to move your piece one space at a time, and you're trying to move them in a way that can obviously uh, remove the other player's pieces. You can only move forward. You cannot move back. Okay, So your pieces are only allowed to move forward as you play. To remove a player's piece, you have to jump them. So if this player moves this piece here, I'm able to jump them, meaning going over their piece to this next spot, okay? And then this piece gets taken off the board, okay? And the game continues. Each person moving their pieces one at a time until they've just figured out, okay, how am I going to take pieces off the board? Again, only jumping pieces, okay, when you can. Now, players can do what's called double jumping, okay? Um, and I'll show you that here in a second. But essentially what that looks like is if a player moves this space here, obviously they can jump one spot if they wanted. Okay, let's say this person doesn't. They move it here. Okay, now this person maybe moves this piece over here. Now it's red turn. They can double jump, meaning jumping here to get rid of that piece and jumping there to get rid of that piece. And now they have two pieces that are off the board. Okay. So, again, the goal is to get rid of everyone's pieces. If a player is able to get their piece all the way to the opposite end here, they get one of these king pieces. A king has the ability to move forward and backwards. So, let's say you move it here. You can actually jump this piece here if you wanted, okay? Because remember, it can move forward and backwards and take this piece off the board. If it wanted to move back here, it could. Okay, if it wanted to move here, then here, then back and forth, you can move it obviously one spot at a time but it can go in any direction, whereas your other pieces only get to move forward. And that's how the game's played. Try to get all your opponent's pieces off, and hopefully you win. If you have questions, reach out. Otherwise, good luck.